Chris Russell Reviews here on YouTube.com. Hope you guys like the new intro and you would like the outro as well. So last night, you guys on WWE's uh, Friday Night SmackDown, uh, they had John Cena come out and basically seeing if Roman Reigns was going to accept his challenge, you guys, of course. And John Cena goes on to talk about, you know, Roman and how he's think he's over, but he's not. Then Paul Heyman comes out and said that Roman Reigns will answer John Cena's challenge later on tonight to give him an answer of a yes and a no. And Paul Heyman goes out and does the John Cena theme song uh, with his mouth, you guys. And, you know, it was so funny, you guys. I have to say the least. Uh, great, you know, a uh, little promo thing by uh, Paul Heyman last night and John Cena, but it was pretty cool. First match we had of the night, you guys, we had Sami Zayn versus the Prince himself, Finn Balor. Um, Finn Balor, Baylor, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Sami Zayn was sitting up for the Huluva kick. After then, you guys, uh, Finn Balor comes in with the sling blade. Uh, he counters the maneuver and all that good stuff, you guys. Uh, then after then, you guys, we end up seeing uh, this little plant, this little um, backdrop type plant or whatever uh, Finn Balor did. Then we um we end up seeing right here where Finn where Finn Balor comes up with some type of kick, and then we see like a roll. We kind of see like a roll up by Finn Balor, but not quite, you guys. And then we see where uh, Finn Balor does like the uh, running and kicks you in the corner, you guys, as you bounce off the turnbuckle. And then we see the coup de gras hits you guys off the top rope by Finn Balor himself. And then after then, you guys, Finn Balor ends up going in for the one, two, three count. Finn Balor, you guys, he ends up winning the match. And, you know, it's incredible to see Finn Balor, you know, uh, back on the main roster. And I wonder what do they have for him next? Then uh, after then, you got that was Biggie. He was talking about winning the money in the bank, how he was so happy to win. Then Apollo Crews comes out with Commander Aziz. And then we had Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode uh, come out because it looked like everybody, everyone wants the Intercontinental Championship. Then we got King Nakamura, which last week on SmackDown, you guys, they had Shinsuke Nakamura, but they had King Nakamura on the on the uh, entrance thing. And then Cesaro ends up coming out as well, you guys. And then there was a swing on Apollo Crews as... um. Shinsuke Nakamura and Big E look on. And then they had um they have then the next match, you guys, we had Angelo Dawkins versus Chad Gable uh in the Miami part of the SmackDown edition. And then we see uh D'Angelo Dawkins does like the one hand well, does like a spot one hand or a spine bust or some type thing like that. He goes in for the pin and uh beats Chad Gable. My test for it is a great thing that he is back on the show now, you guys. Uh, I know he was they had him like in surgery or something the uh past couple weeks after the hand well after the splash from Otis uh like a month or so ago, then we had a um we had a WWE on uh, SmackDown Women's Championship match: Bianca Belair versus Carmella. As you can see right here, you guys, where Bianca Belair hits uh hits like a flip onto Carmella, and after then, you guys, we end up seeing right here where Bianca Belair has um Carmella up in the air. After then, you guys, we see her turn. We see Bianca Belair turns it into a KOD uh for the win, you guys. As you see, she is going for the cover right here, uh, and this was also at the um the little Miami, uh thing that they had last night uh going on, and there it is. Who will challenge you guys, Bianca Belair, for her SmackDown Women's Championship? A person I have in mind, I'm thinking it's going to be Naomi is going to come to SmackDown and try and take that title off Bianca Belair, which she might do because you know she's in the family with uh, Roman Reigns and the Usos. Well, she's married to Jimmy, but, you know. Then, you guys, we had Tony Storm versus Zelina Vega. Uh, as you see right here, Tony Storm, she she does like she does like the Rikishi uh, thing. Well, yeah, the hip attack. That's what it's called, the hip attack, you guys. And then we see her go in for the cover uh, with a German suplex. But Zelina Vega ended up kicking out. Then we see Zelina Vega goes for a sunset flip. But 
Then again, you guys, Tony Storm ends up kicking out as well. Zelina Vega was looking frustrated. She didn't look like she was wrestling, you guys. I don't know what she was doing last night on Friday Night SmackDown. Then, you guys, we end up seeing a headbutt by Tony Storm on Zelina Vega. Then, you guys, we see uh, Zelina Vega ends up snatching the belt uh, out of the pants of Tony Storm. And I was like, what in the world? Then we see Tony Storm comes in with like a over the back um, net breaker onto Zelina Vega. And then you guys, she ends up going for the cover in one, two, three. Your winner of this match oh, on her um, on her first wrestling debut on SmackDown, Tony Storm, which she was replaced um, by, uh, I think, uh, Mandy Rose, you guys, I believe. So they... They got Mandy Rose over NXT, then they got Tony Storm here on SmackDown. So, congratulations. Let's see what's going to happen next with her. So, you guys, then we had um Jimmy versus D Jimmy Uso versus Dominic Mysterio in a one-on-one -on -one match. Of course, Rey Mysterio and Jay Uso were out on each other's corner. Then we see right here, you guys, where Dominic ends up hitting a 619 uh onto uh Jimmy Uso. And after then, you guys, um, Rey Mysterio, he ends, you know, he ends up getting uh, involved in the match where Jay was trying to get up on the top rope, but he snap, but Rey Mysterio snatches down Jay. Um, after then, you guys, we see a super kick by Jimmy Uso into the face, you guys, of Dominic Mysterio, and you know, you guys, I thought Dominic was gonna be over right here. But it ends up they did the same thing, you guys, by uh, Jay holding the back of Jimmy Uso. So uh, Dominic Mysterio couldn't kick out. And then Rey Mysterio, you know, he had this look on his face like, this is two times you guys done done this. And I'm wondering, uh, will they have another uh, match possibly at SummerSlam uh, for the WWE SmackDown uh, Tag Team Championships? So... After then, you guys, we had a little backstage thing that happened where Kevin Owens, uh, he was talking with Shotzi Blackheart and um, Tega Knox, and then he walks away, and then that's when we see Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin, he was basically saying that, you know, he's sorry about last week and so on and so forth, and then um, Ke um, Kevin Owens ends up giving... Baron Corbin some money and say here take this and then Baron Corbin was like you know this is gonna help me out a lot and then after then you guys Shotzi Blackheart Ember Moon ends up shooting the little little both both thing that goes off of her tank into um the bottom part of Baron Corbin and at the end as they as he fell down there were uh Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode well Rick Roode whatever you want to call whatever you want to call them, you guys. And then they took his money that Kevin Owens gave him. But what is WWE telling, uh, telling us right here? Will King Corbin possibly turn face, you guys? He is really selling this gimmick pretty well. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Then this was the last part of the night, you guys. We had the Tribal Chief, the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns, come out. And he was basically saying that Roman, that uh, John Cena, he has the same old everything, the same old moves, the same old entrance music, the same old promos, the same old everything. And he says it's like a missionary position where it's the same thing every time. And I was like, wow. So the crowd was really into it, you guys. I was too. It was pretty fun, um, pretty funny. So Roman Reigns has definitely stepped up his game with promo. Uh, then we... um. Then we see Finn Balor comes out because Roman Reigns the um declined John Cena's um you know offer of facing at SummerSlam, but it will eventually happen. So looks like we're gonna see Finn, I mean, F excuse me, Finn Balor versus Roman Reigns uh for the WWE Universal Championship because Roman Reigns said he accepts it. So you guys, I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on this one.